Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. Today's short video will be showing you how to store your Avalanche coins on your Ledger Nano X. Before we kick things off, if you guys could subscribe to the channel, it would really mean a lot to me as it helps us grow and helps me bring you guys more content more frequently. Okay, so we're here on Ledger Live's desktop suite and I have my Ledger Nano X currently connected and I'm in the manager section. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go search for Avalanche and I'm gonna hit uh, install to install the application. That way I can store the tokens on, or the coins, sorry, on my uh, Ledger Nano X. As you can see on the right hand side now, it's currently installing the application. And once the application is done installing, I can then move over to the third party wallet that we're gonna be using to connect our Ledger to the Avalanche mainnet, which is the uh, AVAX wallet. Okay, now you can see that the Avalanche installer is finished. It's now an application on our Ledger Nano X. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna close the Ledger Live and finish our setup on the third-party wallet. So we can just choose to close that. And as you guys can see here, I'm already on wallet.avax.network, which is one of the Avalanche wallets. And this is what we're gonna use to connect our Ledger Nano X to the Avalanche network to store our coins on our wallet. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to Access Wallet and then hit Ledger and then Nano X, then hit connect. And now as you can see, you have to confirm these actions on your Ledger device to connect to the network. So what you're gonna do is just hit accept. So as you can see, now that we've connected to the network, we are on our wallet. We have linked our Ledger Nano X to the Avalanche mainnet. And we now have our wallet where we can send our tokens to. So if I want to send my tokens to my account, all I need to do now is go to choose my wallet here and I can copy my address, and now I can withdraw my tokens from the exchange, and I can put them on my wallet now, which I will do for you. I'm gonna head over to Mandela Exchange now. As you can see, I purchased a little bit of Avalanche here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move this over to the Avalanche network. So I'm just gonna paste in my address here and finish the withdrawal. And now, as you can see, I've now withdrawn my Avalanche, my AVAX, and now I'm gonna head back over to my wallet and wait for my coins to arrive. While we're waiting, as you guys can see, there are three different networks. That's always something to be conscious of to make sure that you're always sending your coins to the proper address. If I go back to the exchange here and I go back to the Avalanche withdrawal page, you can see that there's multiple networks, right? So this the Avalanche network would be the X network. And then you can see they have the C chain that they also have uh, compatibility and availability for, which is uh, this separate address right here. All right, and as you can see, the AVAX has reached my account now, and it's currently stored on my Ledger device through the AVAX network web wallet. So now if I want, I can just unplug my Ledger device and store my tokens offline until I need to move them again. Just to show you what I'm gonna do right now is just refresh the page. That way we can do a re-login. That way you can see that your tokens are safely stored on your Ledger device. We'll just access our wallet again, go to Ledger, and then we'll confirm our keys on our device. And once we've confirmed our keys on our device, it will re-log us in back into our wallet and our tokens will be there. And it's as simple as that to log in to see your balances. If we would like to reverse this transaction, all you need to do now is go to send and I will just select max. I'm gonna send it to the Avalanche chain, the X chain, and I will paste in my address here and I will hit confirm. And then once I do that, I will hit send transaction and then it will ask me to confirm the transaction on my device, which I'm gonna do right now. And once I've finalized the transaction, it will now send my AVAX back to the exchange. And that's the entire walkthrough process of how to set up the application on your Ledger Nano X, how to set up your AVAX wallet on the AVAX network, how to link the two together, and how to send and receive. Once again, if you guys are enjoying the content you're seeing on this channel, do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks and take care.